Next one is assessing contract purchasing policy and purchasing procedure waiver, 71851 policy waivers, and you know, authorization for the town manager to sign the contract. I'll defer to the deputy town manager. Deputy town manager. Good evening, Mr. Chamberlain, ladies and gentlemen. <coughs> Pardon me. I'm here to report back on uh, prior direction of the board um, with regard to, as uh, folks may know, our uh, full-time assessor, Mr. Tinker, has given his notice and has gone on to pursue um, employment in the private sector, which leaves us with the challenge of filling our assessor. Um, in the research we've done, it's our recommendation that the board vote not to fill that position as a full-time position, but we uh, engage in a contract with a private firm to perform those services, a contracting assessing position. As a part of that, um, I would ask that you authorize you also um, waive the purchasing policy uh, in order to allow the, the town manager to sign a contract with that group, uh, MRI, Municipal Resources, Inc. We've gone out and negotiated that on your behalf. Um, it is what we recommend. Uh, that will give us our assessing needs taken care of, and then we will seek to have a reorganization of that department. Um, and. Uh, ask for your permission to hire a full-time assessing clerk. Currently, it's part-time to move that to full-time. So if you want me to go through each of those one at a time for the board to vote or answer any questions you may have. Well, I'll make a motion to uh, to waive the policy. Okay. I'll second that. Yeah, I'll second those. I, I do would like to hear for the public benefit, just have the deputy uh, managers give a something little, separate. A little recap. On... The overall, what we're doing? I I just well, yeah, go, going down. The motion is for the purchasing. We have a motion policy. to waive the purchasing policy. So oh, okay. we have a motion and second. All those in favor? Unanimous. Okay. Um, and the second would be then to uh, ask the board to authorize uh, a reorganization of that department and authorize the town manager and myself to go ahead and work with the current employee. Uh, to amend the job description to take on the additional responsibilities as a result of this reorganization um, and to uh, negotiate a commensurate salary with those additional responsibilities. And that would be under RSA 37 colon 6. I'll make that motion. Second. All those in favor? Unanimous. And finally, seek the board's authorization, <coughs> pardon me, the uh, board's authorization to uh, hire a full time assessing clerk for what is currently an authorized part time position. Uh, and we will do that in the best interest of the town as quickly as we can. Make that motion. I'll second. I have a question. Well, yeah, go ahead. Okay, I have a question. Questions. Do we expect uh, the financial impact to this? So no. all told in the end, doing the contract and what the adjustments are, I expect we'll realize savings in the vicinity of sixty to $68,000 a year on an annual basis. Right, depending on how everything Yeah, it's goes. when we finalize everything, but that's the ballpark that I anticipate we will save. Okay, thank you very much. Would, would you confirm the length of the contract and when it starts, that type Certainly. of thing? Certainly. So um, the public and again, knows. Well, the reason we have contracted just in general with MRI is there are a limited number of companies that can handle. We are one of the larger communities yeah. with number of parcels and the complexity. Um, we have gone out and, and spoken, and in fact, in this case, uh, Mr. Tinker is going with the company that, that we are going to contract with, and there'll be a, an obvious hand-in-hand uh, -hand that'll be helpful to us in that transition. Mm -hmm. We'll have a larger team available to us to deal with it. Uh, the contract we're looking at will be a three-year contract, um, yes. again, as a um, uh, prorated for 2018, full, I think it's uh, $32,500 per year um, in 2019, 20, and 21. We have an escape clause that if after 60 days it's not working for the party, we can give notice and, and move on to another uh, scenario if we wish. Mm -hmm. uh, there's also some other elements to the contract that uh, once it's signed and executed and finalized, it'll be a public document that everybody's able to see if they wish. So instead of what we've been used to was a full-time assessing officer, then the assistant to him and a part-time clerk, we'll be down to two positions. The... Um, the regular, uh, yes, ma'am. Whatever. So you know, it's, whatever. it would be expressed as two and a half. You generally two and a half full-time equivalents will be two full-time equivalents right. at a contracted basis. Right. Thank you. And, and the reason you asked for the waiver was because 
MRI has all the software that we currently use. So it, one, of the other, one of the other vendors would require some software adjustments, but MRI um, does not require a change in our software. They have numerous other communities that they operate on. Again, there's a number of companies that provide that, but given the complexity of our work, the number of parcels we have uh, <coughs> doing the research that I have, um, there's really two major players in the state that can do that work. Um, and my research and that of the manager has led us to MRI, and that is the reason for the policy waiver because, again, it's $33,000 of a contract we're doing, um, that it's in the best interest of the town to go in that way, given all sum total of the parts here. And it shouldn't interfere if someone has a question going into the office. They will get help, either from MRI if it's a big problem or just for the... As it works currently, folks who have issues come in, they yep. speak to the person in the window, and we get them the most qualified person to answer their question, and we hope right. that that will go on without change. There Excellent. may be a little bit of a delay where Mr. Tinker, if it was a direct assessing question for him, often is in the office, there may be a slight delay in that. Right. But again, when we're reducing costs, there may be some impact on service, but I don't, we don't expect it to be significant. So we'll still be fulfilling the mission of the assessing office. Absolutely. Okay. So Thank you. Motion and second. All those in favor? And this motion Unanimous. is to authorize the manager to sign the contract. Contract and, and for the for and the, the reorganized department. The reorganized the department with the new with okay. the additional full time employee from part time. Correct. Yes. I Unanimous. All right. Yep. All yep. those in favor? Yep. 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 Unanimous.